some new developments in the case of a man who put abortion-inducing drugs in his wife's drink. In February, Mason Herring took a plea deal and agreed to serve 180 days in jail and 10 years probation. ABC 13's Courtney Fisher tells us what Herring's attorney requested from a judge this morning, and she is joining us live with the latest. Courtney? Yeah, good morning, Melanie. You know, this story captured national headlines when it happened. Mason Herring has now served just over two months of his roughly six month jail sentence. But today his attorney asked the judge to let him out of jail. Well, the judge said no. And frankly, prosecutors were pretty happy about that. It was back in February that Herring pleaded guilty. He drugged his pregnant wife's drinks, trying to abort their baby. He was sentenced to, as you said, 180 days in jail and 10 years probation. Herring's wife, who is in the process of divorcing him, says 180 days was not long enough. Catherine Herring gave birth to their baby, the couple's third child, about 10 weeks early and told the court the baby has severe developmental delays and goes multiple times to therapy a week thanks to being born premature. Catherine Herring told authorities in March 2022 she knew something was up when she started feeling sick after drinking the cloudy water Mason gave her, saying she needed to stay hydrated for the baby. Now, both prosecutors and Herring's attorneys declined to talk today. In fact, they were in court very, very quickly. All of this was over after the judge declined the defense attorney's request. Herring is expected to be released in August. Again, that will be the end of his roughly six months probation. For now, reporting live downtown, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.